Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will cover the stock Cosmos Health, trading under the ticker symbol COSM. The market has been very volatile recently, with many titles having huge swings up and down. Many people are interested in Cosmos Health because of the short squeeze potential. So, in today's video, we will take a look at the stock from a technical and fundamental perspective, and determine what would be a recommended action to carry out for the stock. If you appreciate my content, please consider to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out the links down in the description section, as every help is greatly appreciated. At the moment, Cosmos has continued retracing, having tested the $7 over the past few weeks and currently attempting to consolidate around the $5 level. Over the past few days, what we can see is that the stock went down by 11%, and the upward momentum temporarily put on hold. When we move on to the 30 days tendency, the stock has been bouncing back from the previous sell-off phase with a rebound of more than 31%. The price action of Cosmos has been going through a lot of ups and downs, with some clear attempts to go higher and beyond the recent breakthrough in late January, with the general sell-off remaining a strong tendency going forward. For the time being, I would say that we need to see Cosmos stabilizing around $5 to reconsider purchasing the stock once again. So, Cosmos Health is an international healthcare group based in Chicago, selling nutraceuticals in two product lines, Sky Premium and Mediterranean Nation. It also commercializes generic medications. The company has presence in the United Kingdom and continental Europe. Overall, they have commercial presence in Europe, Middle East, Asia, of course, North America. The company has an emphasis on nutraceutical research due to the low risk profiles and also relatively clear regulations in this section. It's worth mentioning that the management believes that the stock now has a solvency issue, putting its going concern into doubt. The management mentioned that due to recurring losses, there will eventually be a going concern issue to be put on the table and they believe that there can be a few solutions to be considered. Long story short, regarding of whether they should be issue new stocks, issue new debts, or have a restructuring of the debts, essentially, they want to reduce the obligatory cash outflows and have a massive cash injection, something along those lines. Ultimately, they have decided to sell the equity, diluting shareholders, Taking advantage of the renewed interest that retail investors have in Cosmos Health due to the expected short squeeze and the price increase that soon followed. The long-term price action has been plagued by poor results as well as the piling up of short orders, causing the price to plummet for a period of time, a long period of time. For the period between August and November 2022, the stock price declined by more than 80% before recovering back a little bit. Over the past few years, it regularly traded between the high tens and the low three digits. Obviously, if we only look at the whole situation from a technical perspective, we would believe that now is a good opportunity to buy, historically speaking. This might very well be the case. However, I personally believe that given the current circumstances, especially the market conditions, we are unlikely to see the stock getting back to these highs, at least in the medium term or shorter, as the market and the company have evolved from how they were previously. With that being said, we should be able to see some significant recoveries nonetheless due to the short squeeze if it were to occur. Although the relevance of financials are limited in the case of Cosmos, the financials can tell us some key information about its financial health. When we look at the profitability, things are stagnating. Both revenue and gross margins have a hard time growing, while the operating expenses have been hovering between two to three million dollars. What that means is that if Cosmos Health is popular with shareholders, people are looking for potentials beyond the fundamentals. If we assume that things will remain constant, the positive aspect in all this, if we have to find one, is that its liabilities are under control, between 40 and 45 million dollars, with a peak around the Q4 of 2021 at 51 million dollars, 
So the company is trying its best to keep things under control. But we can also see that the company's assets and operations are almost entirely financed by debts with a relatively small portion of equity. This means that Cosmos would have a significant amount of obligatory cash outflows, and if they don't comply to those repayments, the company will go insolvent, with its assets liquidated to reimburse the creditors first, and then give the leftovers to equity shareholders, if there is anything that is left afterwards. The cash situation for Cosmos is also negative, with most of the cash inflows from financing, some of which is from debt. Well, I mean, most of it is from debt. This also confirms that the remarks earlier regarding debt versus equity financing and also the obligatory cash outflows. Overall, the situation of Cosmos is not looking good. And this is the reason why it has a large short position against it. This would reinforce my feeling that Cosmos Health is good for trading and not necessarily for investment. The low cash levels suggest that the company may have to go through another round of dilution soon or to issue more debts. So now let's also take a look at the shareholder composition. There is currently no institutional shareholders. If this is the case, we would be looking at a stock that is obviously fit for short term swing trade. The uncertain future of Cosmos would mean that the short term outlook of the stock would be very volatile, upward or otherwise. One key behavioral difference between institutional and retail traders is their investment horizon. Institutionals tend to take longer views. This is why they can afford to ignore the short-term volatilities. Retails, on the other hand, tend to focus more on the short-term gains and more likely to make decisions on a whim. Another behavioral difference is that very often institutional shareholders tend to be more active in the corporate governance we might also be very active in corporate governance, to be honest, but we tend to type it out on a Reddit post or in YouTube comments instead of sharing it with the management because we may not be able to reach them in the first place or very difficult to do so. Now, Cosmos Health has a massive appeal due to the potentials for a short squeeze. The short squeezes are what shareholders hope to achieve by piling in a stock that is massively shorted, forcing the short sellers to redeem their positions. They are very often compelled to do so because as long as those positions remain open, they would have to pay financing fees to brokers and also having to assume the risk of infinite loss since the potential loss is from their entry point and the infinitely high. In the case of Cosmos, there is a large position of shares being sold against the company taking more than 1.3 days to cover. This means that if the shares were to skyrocket, whether because of the fundamentals have improved, the changing prospects, or the demand for the stock, this may force the shorts to redeem. Overall, I believe that those shares have a significant possibility to squeeze, at least for the moment. It's important to note that the short interest is not a guarantee of a short squeeze, but a metric worth monitoring for the investors. It's also worth considering that the short sellers may have valid reasons for their bearish sentiment and that short squeeze may never happen to begin with. Based on the analysis, once the stock reaches and stabilizes around $5, I would then highly recommend to start buying Cosmos shares over a period of 6 to 8 weeks and then hold it for around 30 to 50% of the profit target and to liquidate part or all of the portfolio once we reach at least $10. Personally, I believe that Cosmos deserves to be in your portfolio if the risk tolerance is high and the holdings are diversified. The best approach in this case would be to smooth out the short-term volatilities by buying in small batches over the next few weeks. I would recommend an exposure of 1% of your portfolio.